Now you've detained a civilian, but you have absolutely zero evidence against them. Don't worry, this happens more often than you would think. Enter the interrogation room. We don't actually have an interrogation room, so we found this abandoned apartment building to use instead. Our suspect? This fine gentleman right here. We'll be using some advanced interrogation techniques to get them to admit to a crime that they committed. Watch closely. That was happening. Am I being kidnapped? Are you <laughs> real cops? We're real cops. We're the lowly police department, all right? I I'm the one asking questions here. Why'd you do it? Do what? Why'd you commit that crime? Listen, man, I don't even know what you're talking about. I was just walking down the street, and now I'm here. Look, it'd be really cool if you just admitted to the crime so I could get a promotion. Just say it really loud and clear into the camera over here. I made an illegal U-turn. Get him out of here. Come on. There we go. That's how you interrogate someone with a little bit of peer pressure. You could achieve many things. Go ahead and try it yourself. I personally am going to peer pressure my higher ups into giving me a promotion with this outstanding success of an interrogation. In the world, did you take a completely innocent civilian to an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere and force them to confess to a crime? You basically kidnapped the guy. This video thing's gonna stop this instant. You are being put on administrative leave starting right now. To